Hello boys and girls, it is me Shadow Battler and today I present you the newest chapter of Let's Kill Jeff the Killer, Chapter 5. Oh boy, it has been a long time since I played one of those uh, Let's Kill Jeff the Killer chapters. And now that Poison Games finally released the latest chapter, which is chapter 5, now uh, this gives me a chance to bring back my hype at playing those games and those, you know, chapters of Let's Kill Jeff the Killer. And now let's dive into the game and let's see what would be the concept of uh, chapter 5. Cognitive Corner, this might be the name of the chapter, I suppose. The director announces that Jeff be in the Cognitive Corner and the patients be angry for the order of quit the drink and food and try attack the asylum personnel and Jeff for cause the Cognitive Corner protocol. Jeff don't need weapons to kill but only use melee weapons for fun and in a rat state can resist bullets. The Dr. Norman is the unique member of the asylum with the courage to find the chef and put the dolls syringes in his skin. Norman can't kill chef but have the oh, sorry about that but have the permission to use the firearm weapons to clean the waves of angry mental patients among he and the object play as Jeff and play as the doctor oh cool <coughs> instead I mean except chapter 4 chapter 5 is another chapter which gives me the opportunity to play as Jeff so let me just try to play as Jeff you know in this episode of Let's kill Jeff the Killer. Patient Jeffrey Woods background. In October of the past year, the institution receives a very hard case rejected of all mental asylums in the county for illegal convenience. This patient arrives and own retired the building conditions and conventional security protocols don't stay in conditions to treat with this case. Post-traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia, paranoia, bipolarity, much personalities, psychosis, hallucinations, all in one poor soul, and the cherry in the top of the cake, eternal skin pain in each square, centimeter of all the face, <coughs> the strange lawyer that arrived with medics and guards tell that we must be wary with Jeff. He never be stay alone without observation. We always need to take a protocol weapons near Jeff. The lawyer says that the state needs Jeffrey alive and if not needs other more minutes with this guy in the earth. Kill Jeff will, will be difficult and the state will offer a trillionaire volume of money. Wow. Okay, here I am. <coughs> Hold for... I need to get out of here, okay, that's the main objective of uh, playing as Jeff, uh, I know the controls, so no need to check the controls, locked, find the key, where, ah, I think I see some very beautiful key underneath the bed, there we go, <clears throat> and I unlocked it, better find some weapons so I can fight them, and here I have it, haha, <laughs> the good old knife, yeah, <clears throat> the good old knife, which is the typical weapon killer for, for Jeff. You know, that he likes to slot his victims and put them to sleep. Eternal sleep, if I, if I must be exact, yeah. if I must be more accurate. Now, I need to get out of here, but how? <clears throat> Let's see. Hey. I see someone behind, this must be one of the mental patients. <laughs> he looks like a zombie with a... <laughs> with a bonded hands. <laughs> Seriously? Come on. Oh. Uh oh, this must be another one of those mental patients. 
It kinda looks more like a doctor's door. Stop closing the door, you lunatic. There we go. Don't you understand that I want to open that door? Oh dear, please don't tell me this is like the typical poison games glitch that I cannot open the cupboards or the wardrobes without being crouched. Like, if I'm standing upright, I can't open them. I just have to crouch in order to open them. What? That's evil nurse? <laughs> oh, how ridiculous that is. The creator of the game decided to add her skin in the game. Oh, hey, this looks like the doctor on the main menu screen. Whoa, he's more brutal though, carrying a, a gun. Locked, find the chain cutter, okay. Seems like I have another objective to do. <laughs> This is what the prone does, the button for prone. <laughs> Look at the Jeff the Killer. He can curl like the worm, performing the worm move. <laughs> How cool that was. Okay, no cutter here. I guess I have to check the other rooms here, yeah, but as finding this, this chain cutter is not that easy. Have at me. There we go, lay down and go to sleep. You can't stand the power of Jeff the Killer himself. What? Uh, for a moment I thought there was something in sight. The scoreboard. Ha! Huh, when, when he's standing in the back, in the back of me, he's easier to kill. <laughs> okay, Mr. Zombie, come on. Huh, not so tough you are. You can only pretend that you're so tough, but you can't stand the power of Jeff the Killer himself. Okay, nothing so interesting here. Oh, here's another... Hey, this guy's holding a knife, just like... Jeff himself. What are you witch doing here? Whoa, she was like running. Whoa, she was like very edgy. For some reason, she really must can't stand Jeff, you know, if she's running like that, trying to kill him. Yeah. Nothing on the shelves. Wow, this place looks so empty, isn't it? Huh, <laughs> nice try, but you missed me. What's that? Locked, you need a padlock key in order to escape. Alright, that's another objective I gotta do. Oh, ah, oh, he noticed me, I shouldn't have. Runt. Who's there? That's me, Doc. Jeff the Killer. There we go. Now you understand who was there now. Do me a favor and go to sleep. And don't bother messing up with Jeff the Killer. Because you can't. Jeff is not that an easy prey. He would never be an easy prey. Open. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not that I wanted to crawl as a, as a worm. No. Ah, oh, to die in here in that third person view kind of sucks a little bit. It kind of finds it difficult for me to search, you know, for my uh, objectives here. Yeah, that's why I always prefer the first person shooter view yeah it's much easier for me to orientate but same thing doesn't go so that third person view jump jump do it now where could that chain cutter be or that padlock key hmm 
no. I can't find it. It won't be that easy. Okay, let me just leave all the doors of the room open that I have explored because this is how I know exactly which which rooms I have investigated and this is how I know that there is uh, I mean nothing more important for me to figure out okay I have double doors locked find the double door key <laughs> Here we go, now I just got another objective to do. Okay, there is nothing more interesting on this floor. Oh, we got another, a basement. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get through me. Oh, she's one of those. Oh, shut up, don't mix. So much of a noise. Ah, I don't think she can notice me. Ha, ah, sucker! <laughs> you didn't see that coming. And you never saw me coming. Ha, ah, that happens, you know, when you're sitting in the back of me. Ha, ah, better look next time. You should really work on your senses to sharp your senses, Miss Nurse. This is the bathroom, but it is not like it is not like I that I found something interesting. Come on, shut up. Leave me the heck alone. Okay? Just go to sleep and don't bother messing up with me. What's that? The fuse is missing. Okay, seems like I got, there is no power, you need to find the fuse, so I got another objective to do. Find the double door key, oh, seems like that's my main objective to do now. Double door key, what's that? Looks like a picture of a dead man. Who the hell is so sick of taking a picture of dead people? Oh, how gross is that? Imagine if someone just took a picture of a person right after he died and then he would be like, Hey, look friends, I just took a picture, you know, of this dead guy. Ugh, how gross that must be. Hey, what's that? Oh yeah, baby, I got myself a better weapon now. Ha, huh. I don't think those doctors and those nurses could stand a chance against me now. Ha <laughs> ha, check this out. Yeah, now Jeff is a true killer now with the sword. <laughs> Can't stand the power against Jeff now when he's more powerful and more mighty like almighty with the sword nah nothing interesting in this bucket what? Who? who's shooting? you're gonna pay for this ah okay no worries you awoke this a uh, mental patient, but still, um, I got him down with ease. Okay, how many are my objectives, to be honest? A lot, aren't they? I, I need to find a padlock key, a double door key, and... Oh, and the fuse, and the fuse as well. Uh, where could it be? Have I, have I searched everywhere? Something tells me that I'm kind of missing something. Or not. No, 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 no. Oh dear. Shut the hell up. 
Ah, no, just a new guy who, who spawned here and trying to kill me. No, nothing so interesting. Seems like I need to go upstairs again. And let's see if I could find something interesting. That's strange. I think I kind of searched everywhere and I still haven't found the thing. Not even the fuse. Not even uh, uh, the double door key. Not even padlock key. Like, what the hell is going on? This can't be true. Why? Why is this place so empty? What was that? Aha! The double door key, finally! I got it! You're down, Doc. You can't uh, take me down with those mere pistols you're shooting against me. That you're shooting at me with those mere bullets. You just can't. Now, I can finally open that door. Hi there, evil nurse. How's it going? Find the cutter. So it's like my next objective. What's that? Oh, an axe. <laughs> I got myself another weapon. Come on. Oh, please don't tell me that this axe is so lame. It takes such a less damage. It is not like, <laughs> you know. It is not like the sword. What's that? Lock, there is no power. Oh, I needed a fuse for that generator in order to restore power. Okay. No, nothing so interesting. Come on, open, open. Here. Aha! Now I got the chain cutter, yes. Slowly but certainly I'm starting to solve all those puzzles and objective with collecting things that I need in order to beat the game and escape now. Where was the door that needed the cutter? I think it was upstairs. Okay, let me just bring back the sword as this axe, it doesn't seem that much of a powerful weapon, it doesn't seem that trustworthy. Ah, there we go. I can cut and open that door. What's that? Ah, oh, that is the fuse, yes. Better and better, yes. Yes, I am there, Doc. Now shut up and go to sleep forever. Do me that favor, will ya? There we go. I'm getting closer to the end. And I'm getting closer to victory. I just head immediately downstairs in the basement. Uh, where? Ah, there it is. Here's the generator room. There we go. And now let's just turn the power on. Power is on. Now, oh yes, there was a door that needed a power to be opened. Was it here? Uh, I kind of keep forgetting about where those doors located. Ah, right here. Here we go. Instead of red light, now we got the blue light, which gives me a tip that this door is working and it can be opened. And now, that's a key. You got the padlock key. You can escape now. Okay, getting the padlock key was my last objective for the game. And now that I have it, I can get the hell out of it. Uh oh, uh oh. Wow, Doc. Oh, he's taking one hell of a damage. There we go. There we go. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. And I just finished the game playing as Jeff. Let's see what's next. 
game idea and financed by Thomas Silva from Gualge, Argentina, main team composed by Mikhail Dash Bogado from Gualge, Argentina, game made in Unity by Poison Games, play the latest game, thinking can and financed by Thomas Silva, Sengoku Man Must Die for PC and Android APK downloadable in itch.io web by Brain Art Studios from Spain. Oh, Sengoku Man Must Die, this is the first time I hear about such a game. Probably a poison game, well yes, that's why it suggested, but I haven't see, seen that game in the list of poison games. Did I miss it? I just don't know. Oh uh, uh, yeah, but I suppose when I read the description here carefully, it says it's downloadable in itch.io, so that's why I couldn't find it in Poison Games. Okay, so seems like I finished the chapter already and I lost the mouse cursor, it disappeared and I can't click next, so I suppose this is where the game ends, even though it says next. And it doesn't seem to this game it doesn't seem to be to be telling to me like is there gonna be a sequel of that chapter? Or is the story of Let's Kill Jeff the Killer ends here? I don't know, it doesn't seem to have a proper ending to be honest. And I was really expecting that. <clears throat> but anyway, I really enjoy the fact that I could play as Jeff the Killer again, like in this chapter, I'm so glad that Poison Games made here another chapter which gives me, gives me the opportunity to play as Jeff, so I can slash and, and just put those all these bogies to sleep forever, or just like Jeff the Killer likes saying, go to sleep, and this is what I did to all these bogies. And and collecting those items in order to fulfill my objectives and escape and stand victorious, okay? And by the way, this is not gonna be the end of this game. It has second mode, playing as the Doctor. And I'm about to figure out what it will be like playing as the Doctor against Jeff the Killer, but I'm gonna do this in the other episode, and I'm gonna end this episode right here, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough I made uh, of Let's Kill Jeff the Killer Chapter 5 playing as Jeff himself. And if you did, please leave a like, share, put a comment in the section below, let me know your opinion about the game, and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. See you when I see ya!